Yo guys, what is up? Welcome back to The Contentment. This is a place where we pull together ideas from the world's creatives to help level up your mind, body, spirit. My name's Hunter and I've just had a super hectic week. Um, my grandma passed away last Friday and so I went home with all my family and we had her funeral and celebrated her life. And so I've just got back up to Auckland uh, yesterday and yeah it's been super interesting how for me at least dealing with death i it's obviously i struggle and it's hard but um it creates an odd sense of connectedness as everybody's sharing the same struggle and everybody is going through it and what's so crazy is is that we all have to go through it where you know no one gets out of this alive no one gets out of this without having loved ones pass and it's just a super interesting thing to contemplate. Anyway, I am currently 24 hours in, actually 22 hours into a water fast. I ate a whole bunch of just whatever food, drunk some alcohol pretty much every night. And now I'm back and I really am tapping into my body. I'm trying to just treat it well. And so the way that I'm doing that is by doing a fast. So getting all of the toxins out of my body. And today I had a sauna and a really fucking beautiful yoga mobility session. And yeah, just really tapping into my body and treating it well. And tonight I'm breaking the fast with some juice, some fruit, and then steak and eggs. And I'm fucking excited for it. Fueling my body properly, getting back into the routine, the swing of things, back into the hashtag grind, my dude. Ah, anyway, while I was away, didn't manage to film the letter. I wrote the letter, but didn't manage to get a time to film it, and I wanted to film it here. Those are some good excuses. I just didn't get it done, but here I am getting this letter done, and um, yeah, we're going to go for it. If you guys remember, I did a video on the five laws of nature, and one of them being movement, and this video, this title, Depression. Why is movement essential? First off, you know, our body is a system of adaptation. Literally, literally, whatever we do to it, it adapts and gets better. If you do fuck all, it gets good at doing fuck all. If you do heaps of movement and heaps of crazy stuff with your body, it gets really good at doing that. So, understanding that our actions that we take with our body is literally the human adaptation that we're choosing. You get to choose. It's like a video game. You get to choose if you adapt in a favorable way. If you want your body and bones and joints to be healthy and adapt, you get to choose that. Or you can do nothing and you're choosing passively or actively your body to regress. You're choosing regression. You're choosing injury and you're choosing hurt. There is no excuse for not moving your body. It's simply a lack of education and that's cool. And hopefully you can learn something from this video. But really understanding that old age and all of that really comes down to how much you move and what you do with your body. And yes, there's certain specific cases. And if you've been injured and you've really hurt yourself or you've fucked yourself up, you know, I'm not talking to you. We all, you know, shit happens. And it's not like you can avoid being injured, but you get my point. And this leads to one of my favorite quotes of all time by Ido Portel, the beautiful movement coach that taught, that taught Conor McGregor his movement when Conor McGregor was at the tip top of the UFC, moving like a savage. And Ido Portel was his movement coach. And Ido says, The body will become better at whatever you do or don't do. If you don't move, your body will make you better at not moving. If you move, your body will allow you more movement. Ido Portel. You know, based off this simple concept, are you surprised that you're getting injured? Are you surprised that you're feeling old? Are you surprised that your body is slowly packing up? If you're not teaching it to expand, if you're not expanding your movement, if you're not trying to work on your mobility and things like that, then the only path is atrophy. Humans, we are in a permanent state of atrophy unless we counteract that with our mental state, with our body, with everything. We're always in a state of atrophy and we get to choose progression or atrophy. And if you do nothing, atrophy is the natural state. It's one of the, na it's one of the natural laws of the universe. So you have to be active in your journey forward. Otherwise, you are in atrophy. 
So this is also why movement is so important for injury prevention. If you're training in all of these different ranges, if you're causing adaptations in crazy ranges that you wouldn't otherwise normally do, then the one time that you slip over and you do some crazy movement that you don't normally do, you're prepared for it and your body won't get injured and your tendons won't snap because they're used to it because you train yourself in that position. And in my opinion, that makes so much sense and I don't, you know, the, the, what else needs to be said to that at that point your body adapts if you train in crazy ways then your body won't get injured when you accidentally fall into a crazy movement pattern and in my opinion our bodies always know what is up and if your body is tight and stiff and you're just feeling like shit in your body then it's almost certain that you're feeling the exact same way in your mind and that's what i find so fascinating it's just incredible how when you breathe which is movement, you do yoga and relax and force yourself to chill, then naturally your mind follows suit. Our body and mind are fully interconnected and you get to choose if you want to be in a state of stress and <laughs> oh, or you get to choose belly breaths, chill, relax. Let your body lead the way and your mind will follow. Easier said than done, I know, and I'm not fucking perfect, but sometimes I really sit in this and realize that and it's just, it's so beautiful and I can't emphasize enough why doing a breathwork practice, meditation and that sort of stuff is so important because you're training yourself to relax. You're training yourself to be here now. And, you know, movement comes in many shapes and sizes from dancing to weightlifting to yoga to breathwork to literally sitting, doing nothing. It's infinite. Movement is in everything and you get to learn movement. It's a forever game. It's an infinite game. The more that you practice movement, the better you get and you get to expand your movement practice into whatever you want. And I just fucking love it. It just makes me so stoked and excited because there is never an end goal with movement. You get to continue progressing. You get to choose what you want to be better at. You get to develop your body. You get to gain strength. You get to do all of these really cool things in the one place that you can call home, which is your body. And this reminds me of one of my favorite quotes from the book, The Body Keeps the Score, which is, for real change to take place, the body needs to learn that the danger has passed and to live in the reality of the present. So why I love that so much is because through movement practice, through movement, you can coach yourself to be safe in the moment. If you've got mad anxiety, mad depression, whatever it may be, and I had panic attacks and like was just so anxious but the more that I tapped into my body and started to chill myself out and feel safe in the present moment then naturally all of that slowly subsided and it still pops up and it's never just always gone but you get to choose and you get to do movement that either aids or makes it worse and you get to choose and for me movement it's probably the only reason that I'm even talking to you right now. Like I, I have been in places where I just want to run away from the world and through movement, I slowly allowed myself to feel safe again. And now I'm putting myself out there and I just am so grateful for movement because it truly has allowed me to actually do stuff with my life rather than hiding in a cave never to be seen. And yeah, I, I know I joke about it, but fuck, it's actually just legit. It's real movement saved me for sure with all of this stuff and and all of these fun little words that i'm saying i just really want to speak practically in terms of what movements we can do we can do a stillness practice a meditation movement and all of the stuff that i'm about to list there's links in the bio to this video and it's all free stuff you can check out some of my favorite things are in this description or in the description of this video and all of the practices that have truly saved me I would almost even say that they've saved my life, especially meditation at least. And so meditation, check that out, the Waking Up app. We've got breath work, which the Wim Hof Technique or Awaken Breath Work are two really awesome introductions to breath work. And then you can expand and enjoy and play with other stuff. And then my favorite yoga channel, Breathe and Flow Yoga. They've got a big little bit of be. They've got a beginner friendly course, which I highly recommend, but I'll link their channel in one of my favorite videos down in the description here. And then also my own movement fundamentals program. And this is just the super basic movements that in my opinion, <coughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> that in my opinion, 
all humans should be doing. If you want to favor your adaptation, if you want to adapt in a positive way, then the movement fundamentals is a really beautiful place to start. And if you're not sure what you're doing with your training or whatever, check out the movement fundamentals program. Super basic, but it's the fundamental movements that we should be doing as human beings. And I can almost guarantee you watching are a human being. You know, what are the barriers to movement is something I quite often think about as well. And like, oh, I don't have enough time. And it's like Arnold said, you'll make time. You know, you we all have enough time. It's just what you want to prioritize. And if you want to prioritize your evolution and adaptation in a favorable way, then you've got to move. You don't have a choice. Your body must move. And if you're stressed and you can't find, you know, five to 20 minutes for a stillness practice or something like that, then that is, in my opinion, the severe sign <laughs> severe sign that you need to engage in a movement practice like stillness or an actual yoga practice or something to just help you find time and space and if you create a little bit of space in your mind then naturally you create a little bit of space in your life things start to flow a little better you feel a little bit more alive and a little bit more abundant and something i always think about is oh yeah, yeah i'll do that tomorrow and like that's a fucking lie like you know that if you say, oh yeah, yeah, I'll do it tomorrow and you've never done that before, then you're not going to do it tomorrow. The only time is now. So I really encourage you after this video, check out one of the links that's in the description and just go and do a little practice and see how it feels for you. Fuck, it might do absolutely nothing and who knows, maybe it'll feel incredible and you don't know until you try. How do we know what it's like to be the best, to feel incredible, the best we've ever felt when we haven't done the things required to be there. We can only speak on our experience, so how can we judge what it's like to participate in these practices when we haven't fucking done it? Imagine if we committed to all of these things that create fullness in our life. Imagine how that would feel. We can't because we haven't committed to that, but imagine, dreamland hunter, imagine committing to that just for a little bit, just for like 30 days, just for a, a week even one day, start with a day, start with a step, it all starts in the now, and I highly encourage you to do the things that favor your adaptation, whether it's mentally, physically, spiritually, whatever it might be, I love this shit, and I'm extremely grateful for my path, and what's led me here, and all of the shit that I've been through, because without it, I wouldn't be doing these things, and I'm really excited for the future, and I really hope you are too and if you're not then I would encourage you to start with some sort of movement practices anyway I'm just gonna sit here and rambling for hours if I don't I'm so excited to have some steak juice and delicious fruit to break my 24-hour fast ah, so stoked um, I also want to quickly mention I just recently made a discord where um, me and a few people are posting our monthly challenges and there's a couple people that are active in there including myself and we're just posting what we're doing each month i really encourage monthly challenges like monthly mahi i call it where you do a little a little like a, a promise to yourself about things you're going to do for the month i've been doing one every month this year and um i highly recommend doing some monthly challenges and maybe this is the perfect place to start come and join the discord it's never too late it doesn't matter if we're already into the month post what you want to be doing even if it's five minutes of a movement practice a day come and join come and keep yourself accountable in the group and it's absolutely free and it's it's not like there's no pressure there's not massive conversations going down it's literally just a place where i am just sharing my thoughts each day keeping myself accountable to my practices and it might be a place that will serve you as well anyway guys much love i really appreciate your time i appreciate you watching and i hope that you get every last drop from your life whatever the things may be do them whatever you believe in do them i appreciate you until next time which will be in a few days because i need to catch up on my content anyway much love peace swag 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 <laughs>